We have a surprise coming in like four minutes. We are going to pick up something. Actually, it's kind of crazy. We're doing something crazy. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. <laughs> You're so cute. So, everything changes from here. Kenny's going to have a tough time with it. Oh, I love it. It's so awesome. Yeah, it looks good, huh? The one hard thing about braiding cats is I always want to keep a baby. The good thing is, as I have a lot of kids that also want to keep a baby, so Allie will want one, and Danielle will want one, and then eventually Savannah, and because eventually we'll get one of Zuri's kins probably to keep when Mim's done breeding. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I don't want to be a crazy cat lady, but I'm crazy about these cats. I love them so much. We have a surprise coming in like four minutes. The kids know this is happening, but they don't know it's happening right now. What is it? It's been so Hi. long, I feel like. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> Great. Hi, Bubby. I know, oh it's in there. 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 I promise I am. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> oh, hi, dear. What are you making? Allie came to meet the baby. And everyone knew she was coming, they just didn't know when she I was coming. I forgot she was coming. <laughs> I haven't even, none Yay! of the kids have even been on. I got a hug outside, but I didn't get on camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed you, baby. <laughs> Allie comes bearing gifts. And song, song and gifts. <laughs> Main Street Electrical Parade ears. So cute. Thanks. <laughs> I just came outside at roll number one and look at this. Danielle, look. Oh, no, we saw that. It looks good. I'm so excited. Look at the lights out here. We'll have to come back later when it's dark. Me, Lane, and Brock are on a little road trip. We are going to pick up something. Actually, it's kind of crazy. We're doing something crazy. You'll see here in a minute what we're doing. We, I decided to get to get online and, and look around. And you guys have probably seen me buy some weird, crazy stuff before, but probably not anything like this. And how we're going to get it home is going to be the interesting part. Okay, Brock, let's see. Can you can you even move it? <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> it's so heavy. Here, you can you can move it still. 400. We're gonna load this in this, to the Suburban. It's a 400 pound anvil. It's pretty rad. Vegas, so let's do it. Okay. So, what we're doing, we promised for what? we weren't gonna gamble when we came to <laughs> Vegas, but we're gambling on 400 okay. bucks right here. Okay, so he makes a good point. We are in Vegas, he's asking 24 for this thing. I offered 2,000, we're just gonna flip for it. But we gotta find a coin. Holy cow, this is all about 400. That's You're so calling it, you got a call, he's flipping. Call in the air. In the air. Head. That is heads. Heads, you win. There you go, it's a $40 coin. That's right, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you, guys. I think we just purchased anvils from the dude that knows his stuff about anvils. It's pretty cool. She's in love with you. What's up with all your cats? I swear <laughs> the moment I walk in your house. She's in love with you and Branson, but she's like, Branson is married. <laughs> she's rubbing on you. I can tell. It's scary. <laughs> you can't. That's mine. Thank you. Oh. Oh. 
kind of crazy. No, it's crazy. The guy asked if we're having a huge party or something. It's like, no, this is just our There's family. Just a newborn. <laughs> That's a party. Yeah. There's a newborn baby we gotta go see and snuggle. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Uncle Monster King. I'm nervous. I did this. Oh, he's so baby. Oh, he's so baby. Oh, he's so baby. You don't have to. Oh, I think he's nervous. He doesn't want to get excited. Oh, he's been sleepy all day. Oh, look at that stretch. Oh, he's so baby. Right there. <laughs> what do you think, dude? I like him. Hi, sweet guy. He's got pretty leaves. Hi, buddy. I'm trying to see if it looks like that. What do you think of that little guy? I like him. What do you think about it? Oh, what do you think yeah. about it, huh? There's sandals. There's sneakers. The little tiny sneakers. Can you believe how much hair? Can you believe how much hair? Look at his sideburns. Oh my goodness. So this is an end, the end of an era for Canyon. And you can tell how he's doing with it. He's not. He's been the center of the attention as the little guy. Well, this is where it all ends and he's no longer the little guy in the family. He's the little guy in the family. So everything changes from here. I mean, we're all okay. We're all okay with it. It's just part of life. But Kenny's gonna have a tough time with it. So tell me about this. So my mom, as soon as she found out I was pregnant, she was like, "I'm gonna make you all the things." She's like, "I'm gonna make your best nap. I'm gonna make you all the clothes. I'm gonna knit you everything." And she spent, I don't know how long. She made this the first time, and it was a little too big. And she was like, "I don't like it. It's not." To my liking, so I'm gonna remake it. She completed the whole thing. She completed the whole thing, and then she was like, "Nope, it's not up to my standards." Holy cow! And so she remade it into a smaller one. And it has handles on it. Yeah, my dad made the bottom. The base. The wow. base. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I said this is gonna suck living six hours away. Yeah. What are you gonna do about that? Yeah. He's gonna grow up fast. I'll be back in a month. Don't go up too much, okay? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, I love him. <laughs> All right. <gasps> what was he doing? Oh he's smiling so he's so big. Big. He just did the biggest smile he's ever. So that was like, <laughs> if he had teeth, it would be a teethy smile. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Oh, don't, uh oh, now it's, it's okay. gonna cry. Hi, baby. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um. oh, you your arm in a little bit, this one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what? He's so cute. He is so cute, huh? <laughs> His oh, eyes. there's his eyes. He's gonna look Hi, around. Baby. Yeah. Can look it's around, like buddy? Look at those eyes. Hi, baby. Oh, he has beady, beady brown eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see those eyes open more often. Oh, he's doing the monkey look. Hold on, here it comes. Ready, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh. He's like, Ty, I can tell you're not comfortable with babies. <laughs> I don't. Look at that guy's eyes. He's looking at me like, bro. Look at that. Oh, that's an adorable face. Yeah, he's probably getting so tired to eat. It's time. Okay, guys, tell the babies bye. Out. Yeah, time for him to eat. good. Family time. Yeah. Tell the baby guy bye guys. Bye buddy. Bye buddy. Bye buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy.
so cute. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for coming. Okay, so thanks for letting us let us know if you need anything. It looks so good. Oh, I love it. It makes it look like it's like a. I already saw this today. It looks like it's a ceiling. It looks so good though. This space right here, Sarah was adamant about. He was. She had to have pavers right here, and I was like, Sarah, that's a lot of pavers. Like, so we ended up with a lot of pavers. Um, and. And it looks so nice. And then this. This and is so, like the cherry on top. Yeah, and so I was going to say, I was standing out here talking with the, the landscaper, and he did a phenomenal job with this yard. Like, so good. It just looks incredible. I was talking with him, and he was talking about setting up all the lighting and everything around the edge. And um, anyway, I was like, oh, and I got to put a pergola out here, some lights and stuff on it. And I'm like, I just got to figure out how to, you know, plug it in, all the stuff we were talking. He's like, no, I could put some poles over here. And we could just string those one lights across and it'd probably work out pretty good. And I'm like, cool. And Sarah had gone to the car to take a phone call that day. And I was like, um, she didn't hear that, did she? And he's like, no. I'm like, make it happen. And he's like, really? You don't got to get her permission? I'm like, no, she's going to love it. So. <laughs> Dad, he's like, she, he's like, dude, love it. It's so awesome. Yeah, it looks good, huh? Okay, boys, go jump in the pool. Wait, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Frog. Whoa, that is really hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think of the baby? It was cute. I did not want to hold it because you know why I was not holding it. One, number one, I was nervous. Number two, I didn't want it to poop on me. Hey, it has a diaper on. I know. Number three, it was too cute for me to touch it. <laughs> There's... Well, were you so glad to meet him? Yeah. I'm glad you got to meet him. Yeah. He's going to love you so much. What about you, Az? What did you think about meeting him? He was cute. Yeah? Did you like holding him? Mm-hmm. He's very, very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, he's going to love you guys. You guys are his uncles. Yay! Okay, love you guys. Good night. Love you. Good night. So, what did you think about the baby? He's so cute. I just love how he was so smiley all the time. Mm -hmm. And all his little noises. Hi, guys. It's been a minute since I've closed out one of these vlogs. Um, it's been a long time. It was so fun to be able to see the baby today. It's still, I still haven't like fully wrapped my head around the fact that Branson is a dad and that I'm an aunt and that there's a new baby in our family. Like it, I can't fully wrap my head around it. But also I feel like sharing this. Um, Honestly, I felt really sad earlier holding the baby and thinking I don't get to fully witness the baby growing up. I've always wanted to be an aunt and I didn't fully like think about it until today that like I don't get to see the big things that, uh, with the baby like the baby's first bath or the umbilical cord or like those big things that I'm like my family will get to see because we're a tight family and we do things a lot together but because I live so far away I won't get to see that as much and it kind of made me sad because I this is a big milestone in our family's lives and in my brother's life and I want to be there to witness all of this with my family but the fact that I'm living in a different state and so far away and I have my full-time job and I just I can't just run away from work to come snuggle the baby. It's kind of crazy to think about and reality kicks in, but it's also like gives you a reason to be grateful for what you have of like the fact that I had two days off of work, um, right one right after the other that happened to be around the birth of the baby that I got to come to spontaneously come and see the baby for a few days and 
um, before I go back to work and just that I get to be an aunt and that we have technology so that Branson can call me when the baby does something that's a big milestone or I can get a text or I can get pictures of the baby or the fact that I can just drive um, that it's only a six hour drive and it's just it's hard to see the good in things when it's like there seems to be more bad than good but it's so much better to see the good in everything and to realize what good you have and to be grateful it's so cool there's so much to be grateful for in everything no matter the situation so I try to see all the positive sides guys i know the negative sides may be hard but the positive sides are so great and they make the situations better when you see the positive side love you guys and always remember that you are worth it bye guys